Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel here today, and we're back from the Walking Dead Season 4 video. And today, my friends, we're going to be talking about why I believe Lily will be the main antagonist in Season 4. And if it's not Lily, we'll talk about later in the video why I think one of the returning characters will end up being a villain. Because there's a lot of stuff I'm going to mention in this video that makes sense, and like I said, there's not many more character reveals before we actually find up finding these people. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please make sure you like, subscribe if you are new, and comment down below if you think Lily will be the villain or who will be the villain of Season 4 and what their role will be. So, guys, let's go for 500 likes. Hope you guys do enjoy. If you missed any videos this week, card top right, description down below. And you guys are really going to enjoy this one. So, I'll catch you all in the next video. As always, peace and love. We're almost... 50 days away from release so Lily as a villain I never really you know thought about this we go back to even when season 2 ended I personally thought there was a chance we could see Lily again in Wellington and there was also theories I'd watched you know from game over ENT where he talked about uh, Lily potentially even being the leader there which was a very you know very good thought-out theory I thought in my opinion but unfortunately, Telltale never put Lily into the game, and Longton, the Wellington cutscene was never really that much significant to even have Lily, even if it was there. But why I think Lily could fit in Season 4 as a villain is that we have a couple hints at this already. Now, Lily's voice actor hasn't really said anything. She's kind of been a little silent. You know, people have asked questions in the past about, you know, Lily returning. And obviously she hasn't said, you know, any direct yes, no answer, but she enjoyed, she really, you could tell based on her comments and uh, when people make videos about her, she does really enjoy, uh, she enjoyed playing the role of Lily, so there's no doubt the passion's there. Now, how Lily's story ended off, we remember, was with the Carly Doug shoot scene, and we could either leave her to die, you know, she goes off with walkers or she will steal the RV if we end up keeping her with the group and she'll say it's just thing I got to do and run you know she just drives away and everyone goes ballistic so either scenario is okay with me now I think personally will this decision impact how Lily maybe would be such a crazy thing as if you know based on this choice if Lily was the villain or not you know I, I, I don't know if Telltale would go that deep into choices but it would be such a crazy thing if something ch changed with Lily if we had left her or not so let's say for example you know we didn't leave her uh, originally after she shot Carly slash Doug maybe she's a little nicer as a villain but she's still you know as a villain but if we leave her and she goes with the RV she's she, you know she's angrier now I, I mean that would be a little little frank detail I don't think they would do but it's honestly a possibility I, I wouldn't cross it out now why we think she's gonna survive now a couple of things come up as factors why I think Lily survived she had military backgrounds so no doubt she is definitely athletic because of military you got a military body you have to be some kind of ath athlete if you're doing at least you know kind of soldier dude because she was she was working at one of the i believe forts if i'm not mistaken i don't remember she said exactly which one she was i think an air force pilot i'm not i'm not don't 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 quote me as that being right i'm probably wrong but um she had the training so there's no doubt she's smart she's witty she's definitely paranoid but that might be a good thing in some cases and she's whack job crazy which again some people in the apocalypse that are crazy make it a long damn way and she definitely you know she's very conservative of the food and uh, she gives it to Lee, you know. Uh, she she knows she was the, the kind of like the quote unquote duo leader with Kenny in the original RV group. So she kind of knew her way around to do things. Now, if we continue on, we also have certain things such as um, definitely her investigative skills, finding out those uh, the bandits and Ben 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 giving the band supplies she actually end up i think even suspecting ben was doing it which was pretty damn crazy and then we can look at that and see you know she probably has that in season four so why i think she's going to be evil time's passed time has passed and like i said 
The loss of her father made her go ballistic, and she's angry. She was filled with rage. I don't know if her shooting Carly slash Doug changed any of that. I personally think she's still angry. And why why taking the leadership role? It makes sense. It makes sense to me. She always has been that leader type. She wants to be in control. She wants everything to work her way. You could even see it in episode two when they're in the motor in. You could tell she's just smiling. She's preser you know, she's on her chair on top of the RV surveying the area. You could tell she wants control. She definitely and that's definitely something we could do. Now we already have the confirmed news in season four, there will be an adult faction. There's a couple returning characters already confirmed two maybe even three now what the characters so far we have is the group we have in the boarding school i believe the boarding school will have maybe a couple more characters and i don't think any of them will be returning characters personally that are not you know already clem and aj so cross out cross those two out and then we have this faction group now james Wendler, when they had the interview at E3, he talked about an adult faction that'll come up with, again, of course, a bunch of walkers. So this adult faction that's coming, they're definitely an enemy, no doubt in my mind. There's got to be someone to draw conflict in this season. Like, again, season one had the St. John's and the Stranger. Season two had Carver. Season three had the New Frontier and Joan and Clint. So there needs to be, in season four, there needs to be another villain group. And why not this upcoming adult faction what they're gonna be the villains they're gonna probably want control if it's Lily she's gonna want control and this is gonna be such an emo like emotionally driven game could you imagine I've always pictured Clementine and Lily officially meeting again after all this time could you just imagine them being on the opposite side of things it would be pretty damn crazy and you know Lily's you know Lily's determined so if we have to fight her you know she's gonna she won't be a quitter there's no doubt in my mind about that now why that makes sense is we didn't see her die. Now, I had a lot of comments. I did the returning character video. It blew up. We had 70,000 views in two days, which was like, holy shit, guys. Wow. But I had so many damn comments saying, oh, Dom, Lily's dead. She was on the grass. Uh, she was on the grass as when you were passing by as Russell when you uh, dived in the grass. No. That was Carly. I want to configure that. There was a lot of comments of that, and I don't understand why so many people were confused. Carly does not look like Lily. Okay? That was Carly in the grass. I want to confirm that 100%. That was Carly, not Lily. Lily's alive. It's just she goes off on two different ways. I don't know if those will be, like I said, verifying in her character or not, but that's how she went. She was. She's not dead. She's not determinant, which makes her chances go sky high she's not the lily from the comic books which i get in more comments of she is not that lily that lily is a completely separate lily so she's not dead in the comic book storyline which this follows so that's on her side as well the survival instincts i've mentioned before that's on her side as well the determination from her father being dead that sides her as well and the fact we haven't seen her in a long time she's definitely like i said the leader type so if it's not Lily, this is why I diverge off Lily and go into the other character. I can see Krista, Joan, Clint, Joan slash Clint, Mike, Arvo, one of these characters being the leader. And like I said again, Mike, definitely another character I believe that could be the villain in season four. He's got the background. He's definitely determined as well like Lily. He's tough. Uh, hard nose and like I said years have passed guys so these characters could be completely different than how we remember them like I said Lily could have been you know all nice and stuff after even though she after she shot at uh, Carly slash Doug she could be completely different now she could be way more ruthless than we remember Joan slash Clint again determinant probably not gonna happen but the possibility time could have changed them as well Mike definitely could have changed Arvo he could be completely different for all we know he maybe his limp's gone who who knows maybe he's not a you know a scared little Russian guy anymore one of these characters will step in I'm telling you they had this planned with season two with Kenny so it makes sense to me that we are going to get a villain because Kenny was originally planned to be the villain of season two and he was gonna go like ape shit crazy like killing a bunch of people and stuff imagine that imagine if that would have happened man 
like a character change like Kenny like that, but they actually ended up scrapping it because I don't think they liked it. That would have been crazy though if they had Kenny return, but he was a villain and he was going ape shit crazy. Like, man, that would that would have been insane. Now, I don't know. I really want to know who this faction is going to be because. I want to know, it looks like their interest in Season 4, based on what we know, Clem and AJ, based on what James Windler said in the E3, is that they want to make home of this boarding school. They want to protect this boarding school. So whoever this villain group is in Season 4 wants to cause some kind of disruption, maybe rob, maybe uh, get supplies from the boarding school. Now, the New Frontier is a possibility because they did that with other settlements, but I don't think so because Joan and Claire are determinant. Now... And also with the Javier and all the Garcias not being back, I don't think season three is going to matter. So whatever this faction is, they're going to want something from the boarding score. They're going to want to take it over. Maybe they're just a ruthless faction that wants to take over. We'll probably run into them, I think, at the end of episode one. We'll finally find out. Is it Lily? Is it Krista? Is it Molly? Is it Mike? Is it Arvo? Who is the villain leader? It would make 100% to me that at least, if not leader, definitely a side villain for sure one of the returning characters in my opinion must be a villain must be they don't have to be the leader just maybe a secondary villain now what do you guys think of all this a lot of interesting stuff to think about because like i said once we find out this is all faction we may not even know in the first episode maybe we'll just get run into a group of them at the end of the episode or something to be held at gunpoint or something maybe but lily could you just imagine lily molly krista arvo Mike, any of them, being the main villain. Crazy stuff. Or a side villain. Crazy stuff. I think there's a good chance. You never know. In all likeliness, we'll see. But that's it for the video, guys. Again, we talked about this. So many freaking possibilities with how, you know, this game's gonna work out. I'm really interested to see who these returning characters are and what they're gonna what role they're gonna play. But if you guys did enjoy this video, Please make sure you like and subscribe if you are new. And comment down below what do you think of this uh, theory video I'm making. I do think Lily will be the main villain. This is not a, you know, a what if. I, I sincerely believe Lily will be the main villain. If not Lily, some other character. I can see it. And it makes sense. It would make sense to diverge the paths. So, guys, let's go for likes. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace and love.